For us, big data is really about the three Vs of information. It's really about the volume, velocity, and variety of information. So it's not necessarily just that there's a lot of data, although it's, that's probably about a third of it. It's also how many data sources are, is this information coming from and at what speed is the information coming from. So in the past, you, you pretty much had one source of information, usually structured databases, whether it was your Oracle databases, SQL Server, or email, and that was the bulk of the information that organizations had to deal with. Now you're getting data from a whole variety of sources, structured, unstructured, internal, external, um, from a whole bunch of different places that aren't necessarily under the control of corporate IT. And so it's how do you really wrap your, your minds and, and your arms around all of these sources of information, and more, most importantly, provide actionable intelligence on top of it. The biggest thing we're asked for now with our big data solutions is, is around the predictive. So in, in the past, in, in the days of the traditional data warehouse, it was what happened five days ago, what happened with my product line last year, what's my year over year growth, what are my business intelligence reports? And there's still a place for those and those are still incredibly important. We're getting asked more and more now and this is really where big data is going in terms of the proactive, the predictive. How do you start to solve problems in advance of them actually happening? How do you start to predict where failures might occur before they happen? And so an example for EMC is we have one of the, the most world-renowned software and, and hardware support programs. An example for our hardware solutions and our, our big enterprise storage arrays is that disk drive, there's hundreds, maybe thousands of disk drives, and those disk drives often fail. And what happens is we get a dial home from our box, and it goes into our support center, and they'll ship a drive there with a guy to install that drive and replace that drive before the customer even knows about it. Well, but hey, wouldn't it be nice if we knew in advance when that drive might fail instead of waiting for that signal to tell us when it's going to fail? And then on top of that, wouldn't it be better to predict and forecast those volumes so we can then optimize our customer satisfaction ratios? And so we're, we're, we're building that solution in. We're doing an internal business intelligence as a service within an EMC IT right now to build that in. And there's some, some great, I think, parallels to the utility industry there. Instead of a disk drive, what if it was a transformer? What if it was a substation asset? What if it was a piece of switch gear? And we can tell you in advance when it might fail and what, in, what reason it might fail for, and then what's the upstream impact of that failure, and how do we optimize, instead of customer satisfaction ratios, SADI, SAFI, KFI, KD, right? How do we optimize those ratios in advance of problems happening? More and more, the, the world of IT and operations are going to come together, and it, it's not an, an on-paper convergence. I think it's really going to start to happen where the business is going to be asking IT more for their expertise around information intelligence, information management, analytics, and at the same time, IT is going to, be more, is going to have a bigger seat at the table when they're being asked these challenging business questions around predictive, around uh, better asset quality, around outage, around voltage. They're going to be asked these questions, and they're going to need pieces of technology that can scale to both different levels of information, and new volumes, exponential growth, but also in terms of the management of that information as, as an asset, right? And I think you'll see that with the technologies like EMC Greenplum, with Isilon, with the ability for massively parallel uh, processing engines, scale out NAS, where all this information can come together and you can query all this information from the same platform across the entire spectrum of an organization. I think that's really where this is all gonna start to come together.